Right, so it pretty much says on the title, no? But we have new wheels for the GR Yaris. So it's been about eight months since we took delivery of the GR Yaris. And since then, it's still been rolling on the stock na circuit pack wheels, which is the BBS Japan na forged in 18 by 8 plus 45, very conservative specs. But it's also wrapped in 22540s na Michelin Pilot Sport 4S. Really gold standard as far as wheel and tire packages go. So it's actually very okay to drive around and putter in kasi ang gaan and the tires are actually really grippy. Pero siyempre in all things, all things bihis in Porma, you want to change things up a bit. So in this case, I kind of wanted to go with yung, you know, what the GR Yaris was built for, which is rallying. And it kind of works with yung mga kalsada nating basura dito sa Maynila, di ba? So if you build the car for something na beat them up like a rally stage, it can take the harsh road conditions here in Manila. So I figured, you know, something like a rally setup would be nice. And that's kind of what I'm going for, for now. Thing is, I also like the look of the red GR Yaris na Advix calipers and it's a, it's a great, great part of the car. So I kind of want to highlight it. Pero yung problema with most rally wheels is medyo may pagkaplato yung shape kasi syempre, they're built to be sturdy so there's more spokes and everything for the wheel to be very, very rigid. So natatago yung caliper. Now, the challenge here is to kind of find a compromise between being able to highlight the brake caliper while having that sturdy rally type tarmac look, no? And after looking at many, many wheels and I actually made the mistake of buying a wrong spec ng NK RPF ones, which are for the sale, by the way. I'll put the specs down below. Yeah, just hit me up on that. Anyway, I found these, you know, this is a 1552 Turbo Mac and we're going to unbox it. All right, so as you can see on the box, it says it's a cast wheel or cast wheel program thing. So yes, this is cast, it's heavy. I'll actually take a scale to it later, but I have my reasons for doing that and we'll get onto that later. Anyway, when you open the box, yeah, no, it comes with this foam lining para di magasgas pops. Real, real useful. Pati yung ilalim may ganyan. Then of course, every decent wheel comes with a cover and voila. So this is the 1552 Turbo Map. And remember when I mentioned na gusto kong ma-highlight yung brake caliper and still have that rally vibe? Now, it's called the Turbo Mac kasi yung fins niya dito sa gilid sort of emulate yung turbo fans of the 80s which you'll see in some rally cars but mostly yung mga silhouette racers, yung mga Group C, etc, etc. So they incorporated that design with their signature tarmac wheel na 5-spoke lang na malinis. And in this case, they created a hybrid which, oh, heavy. Looks real different, no? So it's something... A bit offbeat, but still maintains that rally tarmac ish look. No, it's a great design, but the consequences of this thing is it's really, really heavy. So, we're going to put it on the scales and talk about why I chose this wheel. Okay, so this particular wheel only comes in 18 by 8.5, tapos offset 30 plus 30. Uh, that kind of fills out the wells nicely for the GR Yaris and then I plan to put two three fives naman dito para medyo tumaba yung rubber now putting it on the scale I'm guessing this is at 10 point something kilos oh my god que horror wow I'm mistaken it's actually at 12.5 kilos so to give you an idea that's 4 kilos heavier than yung rear wheels ng RX-7 ko, which is yung Advan RSDF Progressive. That's a forged monoblock, legit everything. And it's 18 by 10. It's an inch and a half wider than this, but it's only 8.4 kilos. Now, you'd think 4 kilos sa kotse, that's not much, no? But it actually is if it's unsprung weight. 
I'm probably gonna do another video on why that's very important, but you can just look it up and see why light wheels, forged monoblock wheels are expensive. Yamaha T37, C28, Z40s, Yamaha, yeah, all those wheels. They're expensive for a reason because they actually have performance benefits for the car. Now, in this case, grabe, hinayupak ng bigat to. 12.5 kilos is no joke. So now that we've seen kung gaano talaga kabigat, and grabe kahit ako, medyo surprised ako na sobrang bigat pala niya. I'm going to defend myself by saying gagamitin ko lang to pang kalye. So all this unsprung weight and performance gains over lesser weights of wheels, I will probably get another flow forge set down the line. Pero gusto ko talaga ng gulong na magugulpe ko and medyo kakaiba yung itsura. So for street use and I'm just gonna put two three fives on it, not really that big of a deal. And while there are performance detriments compared to yung current set, which is on, which which it's on now, it's actually forged, di ba? So sure ako, that's at around like eight and a half, pa nine kilos at most, di ba? Still, uh, for me, this looks very very different. You know, it's not exactly a wheel you can just up and buy, basta basta. Like I had to order this from the US with the help of my buddy West Side. Thanks. So he got he brought this in for me. We found it for a good deal no Black Friday sale. So it's like a three plus one promo. But when we brought it in, it's still a bit pricey. But overall, I'm looking forward to seeing this on the GR Yaris because it's really just a different look. No, it's a US style, like a USDM style for a car that is not sold in the US. Actually, no. One other concern with this particular wheel for the GR Yaris is the fact that it's white and that car produces so much brake dust. So, how the heck am I gonna clean lahat ng mga tinga-tinga dito, di ba? Dami-dami niyan pa ikot. Sobrang hassle sa buhay yan, lalo na kung ikaw mismo yung naglilinis ng kotse. Well, I kind of have an answer to that, but... Before everything else, when I got the wheel, I brought it to my friends at Carport 108 so they could give the whole surface a graphene treatment so literal, I'll just hose everything down with a pressure washer should fall right off. Like yung sa Advan RSDF ng RX-7, grab it. Super, super easy to clean even though it's a 10-spoke design that has scallop, scallop and everything. Literal, punas lang tanggal agad yung brake dust. And it's especially important for a wheel like this na puti, for it to stay completely white throughout the years kasi nga madali magbansa ang brake dust grabe if you're keeping the car clean sobra sobrang hirap niyan oh and one other thing i forgot is it comes with this plastic center cap um just goes right there yeah diba completes the look so yeah um as far as wheels go this particular wheel is very 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 basic it's got usual inspection stickers, but oddly enough, it doesn't have the JWL, the ones na, that come with the yung Rota na certification and your other Japanese wheels. May mga ganun sila, yung, it's like the Japanese standards. Wala sila nun. But everything else, like all the specs, yung mga offset, and sizing is at the back by the spokes. And then when you look at the lips, usually yung mga sila race engineering ngayon and sila advan with their flow forged. Line, yeah, yung mga gram lights, yung mga RG3, RG4, ganyan. Meron na silang mga knurling dito to supposedly, supposedly limit the tire rotating on the wheel. Pero, I'm not sure, it, I guess it works, no? Because it, it's part of their, it's part of the technology that they apply onto racing cars. So, that's a good thing, but this one doesn't have it. It's as basic as cast wheels go. But considering the weight, this must be very, very sturdy. And I hope na mabuhay siya sa, you know, sa kondisyon ng mga kalye natin dito. So to go along with the US theme of the whole car, I was able to get Rally Armor mud flaps for it from our friends from Rally Parts. So, ito siya. Just a quick unboxing. It's contrary to... Ooh, ow. <laughs> Contrary to most of the kits ng Rally Armor, which are universal, this is actually bolt on for the GR Yaris and it took them a while to develop. Now, just bring one out kasi lahat naman ng materialis nito pare-pareho yung itsura. Yung mud flap niya is 
much much rubbery compared to the likes of yung mga jowls na mud flaps mas may pagka flexible yung consistency niya so we will actually fit all of this as well as the new tires with with fixed stop and parts pro so i'll put the link in the description below so you can watch that install video while we do it on the shop and the do's and don'ts and stuff of fitting a new wheel and tire package so we will talk about everything from getting new hub centric rings as well as getting new lug nuts because the stock ones don't fit aftermarket stuff all the little details you'll find in that video so we'll probably shoot that later this week and once this is fitted maybe towards the end of this i'm going to put a few b-rolls of the car with the new setup so i'm actually really looking forward to that so anyway thank you so much for watching and i hope you like and subscribe to more of the stuff i'll do with my cars and hopefully you know stick around for the journey see ya